Um, I wasn't going to do this today, but actually I've got a quiet half an hour, so I'm going to. Um, this video is the Fairy Loot unboxing for the August box, which was Other Worlds. For those of you that don't know, Fairy Loot is a YA fantasy stroke sci-fi um, book subscription box that is monthly. And basically they give you a theme every month, items are packaged around that theme, and the book is a brand new hardback YA release for that month. I had sneaking suspicions what the book was going to be, but having scanned through Amazon, like you do, looking at new books coming up, and I kind of figured that looks like a fairy loot box book. Just been joined by my cat, which is very off-putting, and um, yeah, I'm quite pleased I did get the book right, but I'll let you know all about that in a bit. Right, come on Quinny, move. Thank you darling. So first up, here is the theme card that we were given. This is Other Worlds, which is really, really, really pretty. And um, there were some rather good things in this box and some things that are not my cup of tea at all. First up is a candle. We've not had a candle for a month. Um, this is from Book Nook and it is a Witch Soul Fasala, I think this one is. And it's all orange and sparkly, which is actually really nice. It's orange blossom, honey and musk. and. Um, after the last couple of candles we've had where I've not really liked them at all. That is quite a nice smelling candle. Um, then, then we have a face mask. This says fictional worlds are fueling my dreams. Um, this is something I will never ever wear. Someone brought me one of these when I got engaged and I still haven't worn it. I can't do things on my face so as pretty as this is, as lovely thought as it is, it's not going to work for me. Um, I can't actually remember who that's by because there's a printing mistake on the card. I think it's like booky, booky somebody or other. I'll have to go and check that and leave a link below. Next up is this little bag. I like the bag. Um, I think it's quite a pretty little bag actually. But in here is a necklace, which is very pretty. If you like necklaces. I've got all tangled up, but... I don't know, there you go. And it's a quote from Court of Mist and Fury, um, which is really nice, but I don't wear necklaces. So, kind of like another item that I probably won't ever use. This was fun. Westeros Tea Strainer. Now, what on earth do you think could be in here? Um, obviously we all know the quote, a mind needs books as the sword needs a whetstone if it is to keep its edge, which you know, I think is, is quoted to Tyrion Lannister, which is obviously the man with all the quotes, but you know, a Westeros tea strainer, what on earth could it be? So when I pulled out this, well I, I had to laugh, I'm sorry, I, I just found this so funny. Um, anyway, it's all silicon based so it'll be nice and easy to clean. Hello Rufy, I've been joined by the dog, um, we're dog sitting. Um, but yeah, so that'll be quite fun to try out some of my teas and it's just the right size for my mug so I'm quite chuffed about that. This item's really pretty, it's a Neverland notebook, um, it's all clean inside so you can literally use whatever you want but we have obviously lots of Peter Pan quotes in here and at the back we have a map of Neverland but I think that's really pretty, it's, it's right up my cup of tea. It might go to my youngest because he's into that sort of thing or I might hang on to it for myself but I quite like that. Is it fun? We have Lord of the Rings magnetic bookmarks here. I got this straight away. We have Aragorn and Arwen, which is very pretty. Apparently there's three different sets. So I have the royal family, as it were. There is a Legolas and Thrandall and a Sam and Frodo as well. But I think I've got the best ones there. And then we have an art print. This is of the Northern Lights, which is very pretty. And I'm actually getting a little folder to put all these um, art pieces in because at the moment they're sort of still sat in a box, not being used anywhere. So it'll be nice to go with the rest of them. Bonuses this month was an excerpt of Blackwing with a free tattoo. I don't do tattoos, so that won't get used. Um, backdrops, mini backdrops, if you're into that sort of thing. A sampler of God's Grave, which I think is the follow-up to Never Night, which would be fun. Obviously the fairy loot um, scoop. My bookmark, <clears throat> uh, you might notice, doesn't exactly match my card. 
I got a trickster bookmark from last week, last month even. Um, I have contacted Fairly that they'll be sending me my matching bookmark, but for now I've got an extra tricksters one, which is kind of fun. So we have letters from the author, all very flowery and pretty, and author signature, put it that way, which is very nice. And finally the book, which is Wicked Like Wildfire by Lana Hovick, I think is how they pronounce that. Which, um, it just looks like a fairy loop book, doesn't it? It's just so pretty and I really, really like it. It is purple on the inside, which is very nice. And ooh, even the inside is illustrated as well to match the thing so it's really nice and this is all about two sisters i think so this book is all about um people who can manipulate beauty through magic it's called gleam and iris uh, sees flowers as fractals hence all the pretty flowers on the front but have you noticed they're all in sort of individual shapes which is really pretty. Melina is her twin sister and she interprets moods as music. Nice. And they have a cold distant mother called Jasmina who bakes scenery into decadent treats. Very nice. Gleams are kept secret, they're not allowed to be told and the sisters are not allowed to fall in love. So, needless to say, things happen and the twins have to either keep their heads, fall in love or solve a problem. So there we go. Described as um, a sumptuous, bewitching duology about the power of love, death, magic and the many faces of beauty. So this is the first of two books in this series. I have to say I have wanted to read this so I will probably give it a good go. Oh, that's nice. Each chapter's got a, a bit of artwork on it. You can just see it going through the edge pages. But there we go. So there we are. I'm quite happy with the book. So a bit of a mixed bag this month. Some of the items, no, just not impressed with. Some of the items are really, really nice. Have you had your fairy loot box yet? I know there's a lot of people, particularly in America, kind of waiting for theirs still. So I'm obviously... If you're still watching this, you've been spoiled completely and I don't know why you're still watching it if you're waiting for your book or in your box. Um, but if you have received your fairy new box, what item did you think was the best? I have to say, I'm going to go with the book this month. The book I'm very, very chuffed about. The tea strainer made me laugh loads, so that's kind of high on my list. Um, you know, if you're thinking of getting a book subscription box... I do recommend Fairy Loot. There's a lot of thought and care that goes into the items that are put together. And um, they are trying new things in the upcoming months. Um, they're looking at exclusive book covers and foiling and things like that. And they do try and pack something pretty unique every month, which is really cool. It's not the same old stuff coming out every month, which is nice. Next month's box is all that sass, which um, promises things like assassins and throwing a glass and Percy Jackson sassy characters. So I'm looking forward to that one, obviously. In the meantime, I have plenty of books to read. So that's my fairy loot unboxing. Like I say, on the whole, a bit of a hit and miss box for me this month. Certainly probably one of my most disappointed boxes but totally made up by the book, which I did guess completely right, and I'm dead choked about that. All my social media links can be found in the box down below. I am on Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram. Please find me there and say hi. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching, and happy reading.